The vertical height in feet of a ball thrown upward is given by S of t is equal to minus 16 times t squared plus 86 times t plus 150, where t is measured in seconds. What is the height of the ball in feet when its velocity is zero? So we're given a function that gives the height, or in other words, the position of the ball at time t. And the rate of change of a position function would be a velocity function. So if we took the derivative of this function, we would get back the velocity function. So let's do that. We have that the derivative, or the rate of change, of this function, which gives the height of the ball at time t, is equal to the velocity function. So let's just take the derivative of this right-hand side. So we'll use the power rule for derivatives. We'll bring the 2 down in front. We have minus 32 times t, and we'll decrease the exponent by 1, so it just becomes 1, plus here we have an exponent of 1, which we can bring down in front and subtract the exponent by 1, so it'll be t to the 0, which is 1. So we just have plus 86, and the derivative of a constant is always 0, since constants don't change, or in other words, their rate of change is 0. And we need to figure out the height of the ball when its velocity is 0. So we need to set this function equal to 0, and from there we can solve for t. So 0 is minus 32 times t plus 86. If we add 32t to each side, we have that 32 times t is equal to 86. Dividing each side by 32, then t is equal to 86 over 32, which simplifies to 43 over 16. So we figured out the time for when the velocity becomes zero. But we need to know what the height of the ball is at this time. And to figure that out, we'll just have to plug in our value for t into this position function that gives the height at any given time. So in other words, we just need to compute s of 43 over 16. So we have minus 16 times this quantity, 43 over 16 squared, plus 86 times 43 over 16, and then plus 150. And from here, we just need to do some simplification. So this 16 here will cancel out with one of the 16s once we square this out. So we have minus 43 squared over 16, and plus 3,698 divided by 16, and then plus 150, but I'll put this as a fraction with a denominator of 16. And 150 times 16 is 2400. So now all of these fractions have the same denominator, and 43 squared is 1849, with a minus sign in front, plus 3698, plus 2400, so this numerator simplifies to 4,249, and we have to divide by 16. And since this fraction doesn't simplify, this is the correct answer. This is the height in feet that the ball reaches when the velocity is zero. And as a decimal, this is equal to 265.5625.